Roxy and today I want to talk about insecurities and how to overcome them in the second episode of my series of videos on how to be happy. Everybody feels insecure at least once in their lifetime, it's normal, but in this video I want to show you a little project, a little DIY that is gonna help you overcome your insecurities and feel more confident right away. I could make a whole video, maybe I will, on insecurities, where they come from, etc. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna just say that you feel insecure when you focus on the things that you don't like about yourself and that you think you cannot do, you're not able to do, etc. So to overcome that, you just need to focus on what you like about yourself, on the things that you do know how to do, on your qualities, etc. But doing that just in your mind is not very effective because when you wake up and you feel insecure, you don't like yourself, you feel that you don't know how to do anything, you're not worth it, you're ugly and all that stuff, you're like in a loop and even if you try to ask yourself okay but what are the things that I like, what are the things that I can do, in that moment you're not able to answer that question and you cannot come up with anything. So what we need to do is write it down on cute color paper or normal paper, I just like color paper and we're gonna put all these notes with the qualities that we like about ourselves in a jar. And you can do this one of those days that you wake up and you feel really awesome or right now with me. And we're gonna start writing down what we like about our body. And don't tell me that you're ugly and that you don't like anything about your body because our body is made of a hundred thousand billion of cells and we have million of features. So it's literally impossible that you cannot find one thing that you like about your body. It can be your nails, your toenails, your fingers, your hands, your feet, your brows, your lashes, your eyes, the color of your eyes, the shape of your eyes, your mole, your birthmark, if you have freckles, your nose, the shape of your nose, your lips, your teeth, uh, I can go on forever. So let's write down what we like. In my case, I can write down that I like the moles on my face. And I like my lashes because they're long and they're curved. And I like my hair. And try to write down as many things as you can. we're gonna write what we like about our personality, the things that we know how to do and our qualities. So for example I can write that I'm kind of clumsy and that makes me funny and makes other people laugh, so that's a quality, right? And then I know how to speak three languages, which is really helpful, and maybe you are a good listener or you know how to keep a secret or you know how to tell jokes or maybe you're really good at sports or at explaining things. So now write down these kind of things. When you're done and you cannot think of anything else or maybe if you really cannot think of anything, ask your friends and your family. You will be surprised because of course we know that people see us in a different way but often they like stuff about ourselves that we don't even know we have or we know how to do or that it's a helpful skill or something like that. Now you should have a good amount of pieces of paper so let's wrap it and put it in the jar. And this is your medicine, your pills of confidence. And every time you wake up and you feel insecure, you don't like anything about yourself or you feel that you don't know how to do anything, just go grab your jar and read as many pieces of paper as you need to feel confident and to feel better. And maybe at first you're gonna need the jar every day, but then you're gonna maybe need it once a week, once a month, once a year because it's just a matter of exercising your mind. When you realize you're going in a negative loop, just stop yourself and try to focus on something else. And this is a physical thing that can help you with that. Some people like to write on post-its and then stick them on the bathroom mirror and read them every day, but 
that method doesn't work really well for me if it works for you go ahead and do it but for me it doesn't work because the first day I read them the second day I read them and then they become part of the environment <laughs> of the furniture and I don't read them anymore I like more the idea of having something that I can use when I feel insecure and when I feel I need it and with time and positive thinking you will also learn to accept those flaws and you will understand that they are not really flaws they are things that makes you different and it's a good thing for example when I was a teenager I didn't like the moles on my face but now I really really like them because they make me different and even when I draw myself, when I make my little mini me's or when I play The Sims because it's something that makes me me so it's not a flaw and when I was a teenager I was super super insecure but now I am confident and I like how I am I accepted myself and I'm really happy with my body and my personality and everything that makes me me it's up to you if you want to focus on something or on one thing that you don't like about yourself for example, in my case, I could focus on my not flat stomach and feel insecure because I don't have a super flat stomach and I don't have abs. Or I could focus on all the other things I like about myself, my eyes, my lashes, my hair, etc, etc. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this idea and this project. If you missed the first episode of this series on how to be happy, I'm gonna leave it in the description box and I make a new video every Monday and Thursday and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below, share it with all of your friends and see you guys next time. Bye! Hi again! Thank you for staying until the very end of this video! Woo! As always here, I'm gonna leave you two more videos, your tweets are right here and I send many kisses and a virtual hug Ready for the hug? 3, 2, 1. Oof. To all these people, and if you wanna appear right here, just go on Twitter and send me a tweet using at RoxyRox and the O's are zeros and hashtag RoxyRoxTV. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, I'm gonna leave you the subscribe button right there. You can click it and you're gonna be part of this channel, RoxyRoxTV, which is the happiest channel on earth. And see you guys next time. Bye!